Guys, today's highlight. Look at this real quick. Because I'm blinding boo boo. <laughs> okay, if you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, as you guys can see, I'm really excited because I just love how this look came out. My lips are red. I haven't worn red lipstick in so long. You guys know that red is my favorite color. And I live for red lips. So here I am serving y'all some red lips boo boo. But if you guys would like to see how I achieve this look right here, it's extremely colorful. Okay, so I suggest that you continue looking at this video while already here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up button, and I shall see you guys in Thursday's video. So until then, bye guys. <laughs> okay guys, so today we're basically just gonna do one flat transition color and like the focus will be on the cut crease itself. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rank Concealer in shade Golden, like the slightest touch. I'm not really focusing necessarily on the lids but mainly where the transition color will be and I'll bring it down onto my lids. And the LA Gale Pro Prep HD Moisture Nourishing Face Primer for the skin. Okay guys, so now that our, um, not transition, now that our base is there, we're going into the Morphe 35B part and we're going in with this black right here and we're going to use that as our transition, like bringing it out to the end because we're going to be doing a elongated cut crease today. Okay guys, so now that our black transition is there, this is a look that I saw on Instagram, I think on my mother's phone in a mini tutorial and I tried to like soak it in my mind so I can remember it but so far so good. So because we're going to be doing color on the lids, I'm going in with my Ambrosia Cosmetics IFX eyeshadow primer in the shade white and we're going to be doing an elongated cut crease. So guys, while cutting my crease, I realized that I never even put on my primer. I don't know what's going on with these days concerning my primer, but here I am. I'm gonna just throw this video in randomly, just for you all to know that I did prep my skin, even if I jumped these steps a little bit. Okay guys, so we're going back into the Morphe 35B palette and we're going to go in with this lovely green right here. We're going to apply that directly on our outer corner right there on that wing of the cut crease. Okay, so now that our green is there, we're going back into the same palette again and we're going in with this beautiful blue shade right here. We're going to blend that into our green. Okay guys, so now that our blue is there, we're going again into the same part, I mean this is part of everything, and we're going in with, should I, wait, yeah, we're gonna use the purple and we're gonna blend that into our blue. Okay guys, so now we're just gonna go in with this bright pink and we're gonna blend that into our purple. Okay guys, so for the, do you guys like it so far? I mean like the black is there and then the color is just like boom in your face, you know? I like it so. Mm. But, <laughs> but we're gonna go in with the orange and then we're gonna go in with the yellow on both eyes. So I'm just telling you, someone have to come back and be like this one, this one, this one, you know, catch your drift. So again, the orange first and then I'm gonna go in with the yellow in the very inner corner of my eyes. I feel like I need to brighten up the yellow a little bit more, but honestly, all the colors are really sharp popping. It's, it's sharp popping. So, for eyeliner, I'm just going in with my, you all know, my everyday favorite, my everyday special, my basics, my must have, my necessity. 
The Ruby Kisses Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black is Black and we're just going to use that to create a wing. The wing could be how much it As you guys can see today, I didn't apply tape, I kind of like freehanded. So I will be going in with some concealer or foundation to clean up my edges so the wing on the outside doesn't really matter. But the thickness on the, outs in the inside is what I'm focusing on. Okay guys, so now that our wing is there, I'm going back into the same um, Maybelline Insta Adrian Concealer and you should go on my normal concealer brush. I'm going to take it on the edge and I'm going to clean up the unwanted product that I have. Sorry, I couldn't remember the word. The unwanted product that I have on the edges here so I could lay down my base for my foundation. So I'm thinking that since you know the eyes are colorful I should make under the eyes colorful or should I just go like flat black under the eyes but it's in my nature to be an extra human being so we're not going to do that. So I think again pink on this eye, green on this eye. This is the um, LA Gale, is it LA Colors? This is the LA Gale Shockwave Neon Eyeliner. This is in the shade Gotcha and this is in the shade Pop. So pop and gotcha. I think that's a vibe. That's something like a big big vibe. Okay guys, so now that my foundation is there, and honestly, you can't really see it on camera, but for some reason today my foundation is not mixing well, it's really upsetting my equilibrium. It really, really is! But we're going in with the same Maybelline Instant Adrian Concealer in the shade Gold Land to apply it under our eyes, and we'll be blending it out with my um, Beige Cosmetics 115 brush. As you guys can see, I really want to make concealer today just because my foundation is not mixing well. I don't want under my eyes to look funny. I mean, like, guys, like, I need to go to the supply store, but I'm going on the 15 and 15 sale so far. And I swear, guys, if I go back to the beauty supply store, drugstore, whatever you want to call it, and I don't have none of my foundation once again, I am honestly going to lose my mind. Like, lose my mind today guys this is the only thing that I can see in my side I have no idea where my jacket banana powder is so instead of searching because I'm not about to search because you guys don't know how much powders I have to look through just to find the jacket if it is packed away and I'm not about to do that so we're going in with the Sasha um, matte satin powder for the face to set under my eyes, the perfectly translucent powder. What do you guys think that we should put under the eyes? I feel like we should go with black, but I also feel like we should do something extra. Decisions, decisions. While I'm making that decision, I'm going in with the Maybelline the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. And we're just gonna use that to blend our falsies and to bring out our lower um, lash line eyelashes. Okay, guys, so since we have green on this eye, I'm going in with this green and we're gonna put that under this eye since we have pink on this eye. I'm going in with pink and I'm going to put it under this eye. You'll catch the drift. I don't know how that is going to turn out but if I don't like it I'm just going to over conceal again and put this flat black. Guys I really like how that looks honestly. Pink, green, pink. 
look under the eyes green under these eyes i like it i like it a lot so for highlights i'm going in with the um jacquard you glow girl baked highlighter in the shade moonlight you all can't see that but it's right there and it's in the shade moonlight we're gonna apply that on our cheekbones our nose bridge of our nose maybe a little bit on our cupid's bow So for blush, we're going into the Milani um, blush palette. You all know this blush I talk about all the time. It has like a red shimmer, my normal blush brush. And I'm going to put that, honestly, something like contour, but very slightly, just to add some more color back into the face. that the color on the eyes because it's your puppet. It's your puppet. You guys know that I love to put red lipstick on anything and I'm hoping like that like, like I want to put on a red lip but guys I don't, I don't really know how the red lip go and cooperate with this look but this is the click glossy high pigmented lipstick by absolute New York in the shade lava so let's try this first and see how this looks because I really want a red lip so Guys, honestly, um, honestly, your girl, they girl clean your red lips, so. Okay, guys, so I hope that you guys really enjoyed this look, because honestly, it's it was fun filming this look because I have so much color going on. Guys, I really love color. And this day I'm really trying to challenge myself in the sense of blending, my placement, all of that. So this is just like, honestly, like a mini challenge because, you know, it's a lot of color, a lot of blending to in between. And it's, okay, I could have done better. But it's acceptable and I love it. So pat myself on the back. But I hope that you guys enjoy while you're already here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, says so hit that bell notification so you won't miss a upload. Okay? I upload every Monday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Like clockwork, unless you know life gets in the way. But yeah, every Monday and Thursday at 4 p.m. So I shall see you guys in Thursday's video. So until then, bye guys.